Welcome to part three in my series on learning to juggle. So far, we've learned one and two balls. We've learned how to do those throws cleanly, keeping our eyes up and our hands down at our sides. Now we're going to learn how to take those two skills and add in a third ball. Believe it or not, it's just as simple as adding the third one in. If you've been doing the timing correctly, then this should be easy. However, just getting started can be intimidating and full of drops. You'll always start off with the hand that has the most objects in it. If you were starting with three balls, that would be two balls in one hand and one ball in the other. So with five balls, one hand has three, one hand has two. In this exercise, you'll start off with two in one and one in the other. Always start off with that hand that has the most objects. Start off, this time, by emulating what you did in the second lesson, but just holding on to that third ball. Up, 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 up. Here you'll see that my technique gets sloppier as we increase the number of balls. The wrist positions aren't exactly perfect, but I'm trying to get that perfect technique. That way, it becomes easier to develop new tricks. This time, once you've done the second one, wait for it, and then throw the third one. So it's going to be one, two, three. To repeat, you wait until the first one reaches the peak of its arc. Then, you throw the second one. Once the second one's in the air, you wait for it until it reaches the peak of its arc, and then you start the process of throwing the third one. They take turns in the air, just like they did with two. In other words, it's the same rhythm, the same speed, and the same move. You're just holding that third ball. Think of it this way. One, two. One, two. One, two. It's just those two steps repeated over and over. Practice this for a while and try to master getting all three throws as crisp and clean as possible and catching all three again. Start off with three throws, then see if you can do four throws in a row, then five, six, seven, eight, as many as you like. Again, trying to keep your throws in the same position. There's nothing else to it other than to repeat that motion and to master taking those turns. The best way to improve is to work on your dwell time. The time between the catch and the throw is known as dwell time. To increase that, you can bring your arms further down in the throw. This will make it easier to create new tricks. Another way to improve your technique is to work on your center, to find where you can juggle in the space around you without changing the pattern. Try juggling off to one side. Try juggling above your head. See if you can go in a nice, clean circle all the way around your body. You can try moving around to different spaces, ones that aren't in a clear circle. Try up high, or down low. Try moving around in a relaxed manner. See if you can walk up or down stairs, or just find different patterns to walk around in, practicing to keep those throws the same. There are many, many tricks you can do with three balls. Once you've mastered the three ball technique, adding new tricks in is as simple as taking tricks you learned with one ball and applying them to all three. However, I wanted to keep this simple and focus on learning the three ball technique. In the next episode, next week, I'll be showing you how to expand what you've learned into adding and learning new tricks. I'll also show you how to juggle two balls in one hand, how to turn that into four balls, or even how to juggle five.